boys welcome back to the channel so today i am going to install this short hub that i bought from the local market and and finally i'll be able to put this nadi on so let me give you an update so the last video i made was around 2 days ago so past 2 days i have been using this steering wheel and i have been using this horn from the old steering and it it is working as you guys saw in the last video the nadi horn was not fitting this hub because of this ring and by the way if you guys are thinking what happened to the refund thing that i applied for in the last video actually ali express didn't accept it i guess quality was not a genuine reason for them to refund my money so i am no way out and i have this steering so i might use it as well for normal driving as you can see it is kind of firm but again when you pull hard on this it is kind of squishy so i'll use it and i'll use it for now and save a bit more money for my next steering wheel for now let's remove this one from this current hub the one i got now is a bit more shorter than this one because i actually wanted to push the steering as far back as i can because i have a plan for that i need the steering as back as possible and let's see how back the steering wheel goes with the new hub so i actually measured the distance from here to the steering wheel and it is around 6 inches so let's see after installing that short hub how back it is pushed okay so for the tools i have this 19 mm socket and this half inch bar and the type of hub is hy1 if in case you are wondering for hyundai x and hyundai gets so now let's start off by removing this center bolt before that make sure your steering wheel is straight and your wheels are actually straight so my wheels and my steering wheel is aligned and straight so now let's take this bolt off so i was curious to know i have put my old steering back on the old hub and the distance from here to here is around 7 inches so just putting the nadi one we have reduced the distance around an inch let's take this hub off and we'll try with the new steering wheel and the new hub We have removed this one. Do make sure that these things do not move because these are important for turn signal auto cancelling. So do not mess this up before you put the new one on. This is our old hub. Now let's unbox the new one. Here is the hub. Now let's compare these two. a side to side comparison and the new one is literally half the size of the old one and let's try this on yes it fits and and it is tight so yes this is the right one putting the nut back on try the steering wheel and see if the hole matches with the hub if not then you have to take this off and turn few teeth so that it can align perfectly with the steering wheel i'll try it and make sure everything is straight so i fine tuned everything and so this is perfectly straight and the hole behind matches those pins so i'll tighten this up and then we'll finally put the steering back on you can see i have connected the new steering wheel to the new hub let's first check how short this have become new reading is 4 and a half uh, less than 4 and a half so we have taken around 3 to 3 and a half inches from here so now i feel more comfortable my arms are straight and not crunched anymore so before putting the horn button back 
I'll go and take a quick test drive to make sure it is aligned otherwise I have to take this off again and twist it few teeth and install it again so let's go so I have installed and fine tuned the wheel now when I went for the drive it was a bit off so I had to open it again and put it back now I am trying to now I'm trying to slide in the horn button but it is a bit tricky so I need both the hands to put in before you push it in make sure it is straight because it is a bit tricky to take these buttons off it's 12 am now so I'll see you guys tomorrow and then I'll finally show you how it is looking